Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled This God Paskin on Historical Shaibas Part 2. We mentioned the previous year that Rav had a groundbreaking idea. He mentioned the Mizrahi addresses, page 32 in the English volume, where he said that in halachic technical matters, God's intervention does not affect us. We pass according to the rules of halacha, and that's it. When it comes to historical disputes, then God does Paskin for us. The two examples that he mentioned, the one over 3,500 years ago, Yosef and the brothers, why the brothers back off? They, maybe they were right. And Yosef shouldn't be part of Klai Yisrael and shouldn't be the leader. And the answer is because God made him the leader. It was obvious that they were wrong and he was right. And the Rav wants to say, in 1903, the Mizrahi movement started. The Aguda was against the Mizrahi movement and the fledgling Zionist movement. The Mizrahi said, we have to work together. We're going to build this state together. It's confusing. It's not always so black and white, but we're going to work together, even though we don't have the exact same goals. Sometimes they overlap, sometimes they don't. But that's what we're going to do. So who's right? Not clear. So 1948, according to the Rav, God showed this was the right approach, to work together with the Zionist movement. And the fact that I let you create a state shows that that's what I want, that's my will. So let's go further. To me, that's the Rav writing over 50 years ago. Now in 2017, almost 2018, to me, if you take the Rav's concept of God poskening Shailas in historical issues, it's even more belated, it's even clearer. Why? Because I understand early 1900s. Wait a second, well, what's going to be? The Zionists going to take over. It's going to be a secular state. So I understand the concern. But wait, you said it's not what happened. So even 48, yeah, the state's created, but who says it might still become very secular? No mikvahs, no shuls, no yeshivas, no kolels. But in 2017, the Torah in Eretz Israel, there's nothing like it. When Mark Pichemer started just a few years ago, the amount of Tamid HaChachamim and Yeshivas at every level, learning is unbelievable. The Gedolim, so many of the Gedolim are here, so many people learning thousands and thousands of thousands of the, the sperm that are put out here, the shuls, the Yeshivas, the Mikvahs, the Avers in every town. You have kibbutzes where they were so anti, 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 now they have shuls. So to me, this is all an ongoing psak, historical psak, where God is saying, this is good, this is proper, I bless it, and I paskin by it. The Jewish sovereignty at this point, before the Mashiach, and yes, started and spearheaded mostly by secular Jews, some of them without the healthiest uh, intentions, some of them more noble, the full range of intentions, and God will judge each one, of course, individually. And I, Paskin, that with all the background, this is good, this is proper, and this is right. And appreciate the bracha of Jewish sovereignty. So to me, when you take the Rav's groundbreaking idea that God's psak, his intervention in Jewish in Jewish history is his stamp of approval of one side. To me, that stamp gets stronger and stronger with every year and every decade that goes by. Shalom.